It's Jump Miss! We have more card news! Behold, Rage of the Abyss has finally introduced its entry into the Sinful Spoils lore for Series 12, and we're going to start with its extra deck monsters. Why? Because it doesn't have any main deck ones. This theme has four fusion monsters, two spells, and a trap, and tonight we're going to cover them here on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization Twitch stream. We're going to start with their ultra-rare boss monster, Azamina Moa Regina. This level 8 dark illusion monster is a fusion of any illusion and a level 6 or higher fiend monster. It's important that you note that this has 8 stars and you're gonna see why later. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first effect is that you can target one illusion monster in your graveyard except yourself and special summon it. That is once per turn. When a Sinful Spoils or Azamina card or effect is activated, except for her own, you can target up to two cards on the field and destroy them. You may be asking yourself, how do I summon something like this? Do I just play Polymerization or is there an in-theme way to do it? We're going to find out after we're done the four fusion monsters. Moving on, we have a level six dark illusion monster named Azamina Rhea Silvera. This time, the fusion materials are an illusion and a light spellcaster monster, and she has 1900 attack and 1500 defense. Her second and third effects are hard ones per turn, and her first effect is that any battle damage your Azamina monsters that aren't her inflict to your opponent is doubled. When your opponent activates a card or effect, as a quick effect, you contribute this card to negate that effect. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add a sinful spoils trap from your deck to your hand. There is a new Sinful Spoils trap in Rage of the Abyss that we cover in a different video. Once again, I will draw attention to the fact that this card is level 6, as that's going to be very important later on. Up third, this Batgirl, Azamina Mu Resiliago, is a level 6 Dark Illusion Fusion Monster. Its materials are again an Illusion Monster and a Light Spellcaster, and you can only use its first and third effects hard once per turn this time. If this card is Fusion Summoned, you can add an Azamina or Sinful Spoils card from your deck to your hand. That includes the older ones, like Wanted, Seeker of the Sinful Spoils, as well as the two new ones found in Rage of the Abyss. Monsters your opponent controls also lose 500 attack and defense for each Azamina monster you control. And if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, including your own, you can add a Sinful Spoils spell from your deck to your hand. Why? Up last for the fusion monsters, we have Azamina Sol Elisktone. Straight out of Dark Souls, this level 6 Dark Illusion fusion monster uses a Fiend monster as its other material to pair with an Illusion monster, and its first two effects are hard ones per turn. This time, if this card is fusion summoned, you can target a card on the field and send it to the graveyard. And during each standby phase, you can target an Azamina or Sinful Spoils card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. This monster has 2700 attack points while being a 2 drop. That is the 3 hit kill number. That is not okay. This thing will lead to so many OTKs. Anyone who knows anything about card game design and how battle math works, this should set off every alarm in your head you've ever seen. There is a very good reason Frostosaurus was only 2600. This card is very crazy. This is one of the most dangerous cards I've ever seen. And this one doubles the damage that that card does. So I know what you're all thinking, super polymerization. And you'd be right, but you'd also be wrong because this theme has three in-theme ways to fusion summon out these four monsters. Starting off, this Zelda icon looking spell is called Sacred Azamina. It has two effects, the second of which, while in the graveyard, is hard once per turn. The first effect is that you can reveal an Azamina fusion monster from your extra deck and send a Sinful Spoils card from your hand and or field to the graveyard for every four levels it has. If those cards are set, you reveal them, then special summon the revealed monster as a fusion summon. So we're gonna talk about that for a quick sec because it's pretty misleading. It's almost like a ritual summon, but for a fusion monster, and it's using spell cards instead of monsters, but the number of spells or traps that you need to use 
is one for every four levels. So that level eight would need to use two of them because that's four levels twice. But those level six ones, they don't have another group of four levels, so they would only have to send one. You could theoretically revive Diabellstar to set Wanted from your deck, and then activate a spell to send the Wanted set from your field to the graveyard to summon one of your level six fusion monsters, at which point you could then banish the Wanted from your graveyard and draw a card. Secondly, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target an Azamina monster you control or in your graveyard, shuffle it back into the extra deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand so that you can use it to summon the Adminia monster you just put back into your extra deck. If that wasn't enough, we also have a quick play spell, Azamina Ophelitis, that also fusion summons by sending spell and traps to the graveyard from your hand and or field for every four levels that a revealed as a Mina monster in your fusion deck has, but this one can only do it hard once per turn. Like its other spell, it also has a second effect that's hard once per turn that says during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one as a Mina monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Last and certainly not least, we have Azamina Hamartia. A normal trap that, like the other two, reveals an Azamina fusion monster in your extra deck to shuffle sinful spoil cards from your graveyard and or banishment into your deck for every four levels it has and fusion summon the revealed monster. This one is particularly egregious because things like Wanted that banish themselves to draw a card can then be put back into the deck as fusion material hard once per turn to summon the new Asminia monsters. It also, like the other two, has a graveyard effect that's hard once per turn that says you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a sinful spell spell or trap in your graveyard and set it, but it cannot be activated this turn. It can still be used as fusion material though, with three different ways to fusion summon your monsters and four different fusion monsters to summon, there is an unbelievable amount of offensive output that this deck is capable of doing, and that is completely independent of the overlap with super polymerization that this deck has. Bearing in mind things like that this card has 3000 attack, and this one has 2700 attack, while this one doubles the damage to your opponent, and this one lowers the attack of your opponent's monsters, the last thing that this deck needed was a Twin Twisters for monsters, and Super Polymerization is at 3. Probably also worth noting is that a level 6 or higher Fiend monster is the Fiendsmith, Hello. found in Infinite Forbidden, coming soon to every deck list near you. I'm sure all you Chimera players out there are rejoicing reading these, and all you lore hounds are very curious what's going on with the fiend monster part of this, but for more information on that, as well as the other two archetypes that were revealed tonight during Jumpmas, head on over to yugiorganization.com.